Okay, here's the beginning of the scene where the inverted protagonist seems to come out of the turnstile and attack his forward self. It appears that the pieces of the handgun fly up to him on their own so that he can reassemble them. But in reality, the inverted protagonist is disassembling the handgun to avoid harming his forward self. He shoots at the glass barrier only to empty the magazine. Notice how his forward self seems to be pushing the gun at him. From the forward's perspective, he is taking the gun away. Similarly, when the forward protagonist stabs the inverted protagonist's arm, from the inverted perspective, he is being unstabbed, which would make the wound disappear. When they exit the divided hallway and forward protagonist punches the arm of his inverted self, this does not cause him to release the gun because the punch is not effective. From the inverted perspective, forward protagonist is simply pulling his fists away really fast. Forward protagonist flips over his inverted self onto the floor, and then they both seemingly come right back up to their feet. But from the inverted protagonist's perspective, he is the one who pulls his forward self to the floor and is then spontaneously pulled up to his feet. The inverted protagonist somehow kicks the gun out of his forward self's hand. I'm not sure how this is possible. Perhaps the inverted protagonist has wised up to how inverted causality works, assuming he did it deliberately. The forward protagonist manages to trip his inverted self, but from the inverted perspective, gravity pushed him up off the floor instead. Here, the forward protagonist somehow manages to successfully flip over his inverted self in the inverted perspective. However, in his own forward perspective, his attacker has been unflipped and gained the upper hand. Punching an inverted opponent is tricky, as the punches have to be completely palindromic to be effective. You have to pull your fist away with the same force and speed as the actual punch. When the forward protagonist pulls his opponent away from the wall, from the inverted protagonist's perspective, he is actually being pushed against the wall. Attempting to pound the inverted protagonist with his arm is ineffective because from the inverted perspective, he is merely swinging his arm backwards away from his opponent. The forward protagonist feels like he is having his head slammed against the wall, but his inverted self is merely pulling him away from the wall, so this attack was probably just an accident. This backwards floor crawl freaks out the forward protagonist, and when his inverted self gets too close to him, he tries to kick him away. In the inverted perspective, it is precisely this kick which knocks him to the floor in the first place. Here is the inverted protagonist's wall flip from the forward perspective, and then the inverted perspective. Again, the forward protagonist tries to flip his inverted self onto the floor, but from the inverted perspective, the opposite occurs. To the forward protagonist, it seems like his opponent is trying to pull him away from the gun. However, the inverted protagonist is merely trying to get up off the floor. When the forward protagonist reacts in shock as he is suddenly lifted up to the wall, 
that's really the inverted protagonist pulling him to the floor. And finally, here are some of the last actions in the fight from both the forward and inverted perspectives. These don't need much more explanation.